Good morning. Welcome back to our daily Bible reading. We're reading chronologically from Genesis to Revelation, and we find ourselves today in Deuteronomy chapter 7. So go ahead and grab your Bible, grab you a notepad if you want to take notes as we study together. Let's dig into the Word of God. The Bible says, When the Lord your God brings you into the land which you go to possess and cast out many nations before you, the Hittites and the Girgashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than you. And when the Lord your God delivers them over to you, you shall conquer them and utterly destroy them. You shall make no covenant with them, nor show mercy to them. Neither shall you make marriages with them. You shall not give your daughter to their son, nor take their daughter for your son. For they will turn your sons away from following me to serve other gods. So the anger of the Lord will be aroused against you and destroy you suddenly. But thus you shall deal with them. You shall destroy their altars and break down their sacred pillars and cut down their wooden images and burn their carved images with fire. For you are a holy people to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for himself, a special treasure above all the peoples on the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love on you nor choose you because you were more in number than any other people, for you were the least of all peoples. But because the Lord loves you and because he would keep the oath which he swore to your fathers, the Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of bondage and from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Therefore know that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments. And he repays those who hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack with them who hate him. He will repay him to his face. Therefore, you shall keep the commandments, the statutes, the judgments, which I command you this today and observe them. Then it shall come to pass because you listen to these judgments and do keep them, do them, that the Lord your God will keep with you the covenant and the mercy which he swore to your fathers. And he will love you and bless you and multiply you. He'll also bless the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your land, your grain and your new wine, your oil, the increase of your cattle and the offspring of your flock and the land of which he swore to your fathers to give you. You shall be blessed above all peoples. There shall be uh, there shall not be a male or a female barren among you or among your livestock. And the Lord will take away from all your sickness and afflict you with none of the terrible diseases of Egypt, which you have known, but will lay them on all those who hate you. Also, you shall destroy all the peoples whom the Lord your God delivers over to you. Your eyes shall have no pity on them, nor shall you serve their gods or that they will be a snare to you. If you should say in your heart, these nations are greater than I, how can I dispose them? You shall not be afraid of them, but you shall remember well that the Lord, your, what your Lord, your God did to Egypt, did to Pharaoh and to all in Egypt, the great trials which your eyes saw, the signs, the wonders, the mighty hand of the outstretched arm by which the Lord, your God brought you out. So shall the Lord, your God do to the, all the peoples of whom you are afraid. Moreover, the Lord, your God will send the hornet among them who uh, among them until those who are left who hide themselves from you are destroyed. You should not be terrified of them, for the Lord your God is great and awesome God among you. And the Lord your God will drive out those nations before you little by little, and you will be unable to destroy them at once, lest the beasts of the field become too numerous for you. But the Lord your God will deliver them over to you and will, inf will inflict... Uh, and will inflict defeat upon them who are just until they are destroyed and he will deliver the kings into your hand and you will destroy their name from under heaven no one shall be able to stand against you until you have destroyed them you shall uh, burn the carved images of their gods with fire you shall not covet the silver or gold that's on them nor take it for yourselves lest you be snared by it for it is an abomination to lord your god nor shall you bring an abomination into your house, lest you be doomed to destruction like it. You shall utterly detest it and utterly abhor it, for it is an accursed thing. Every commandment which I command you today, you, sh you must be careful to observe, that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers. And you shall remember that the Lord your God led you all the way these 40 years in the wilderness to humble you and test you, to, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep his commandments or not. So he humbled you, 
allowed you to hunger and fed you with manna, which you did not know, you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know the man shall not live by bread alone, but the man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God, the Lord. Your garments did not wear out on you. Your foot did not swell these 40 years. You shall know in your heart that as a man chastens his son, so the Lord chastens you. Uh, therefore, you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God to walk in the ways and fear him. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land of brooks of water, fountains of springs, that flow out of the valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive oil and honey, a land in which you will eat bread without scarcity, in which you will lack nothing, a land whose stones are iron and out of whose hills are, can dig copper. When you've eaten and are full, then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God, not by, by not keeping his commandments, his judgments, and his statutes, which I command you today. Lest when you have eaten and are full and have built beautiful houses to dwell in them, and when your herds and your flocks multiply, that your silver and your gold are multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, when your heart is lifted up and you forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, who led you through that great and terrible wilderness in which you, there were fiery servants and scorpions and thirsty uh, and uh, thirsty land there where there was no water, who brought water for you in the flinty rock, who fed you in the wilderness with manna, which your fathers did not know, that he might humble you, that he might test you to do good in the end. Then you say in your heart, my power and my might of my hand have gained me this wealth. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, and that he may establish his covenant with which he swore to the, your fathers as he did to this day. Then it shall be, if you by any means forget the Lord your God and follow other gods and serve them and worship them, I testify against you this day that you shall surely perish in the nations which the Lord destroys before you, so shall perish, because you would not be obedient to the voice of the Lord your God. Hear, O Israel, you are to cross over the Jordan today and go in to dispossess nations greater and mightier than yourself, cities great and fortified up to heaven, uh, great people tall and descendants of Anakim, who you, as you know, uh, of whom you have heard it said, who can stand before the descendants of Anak? Therefore, understand today that the Lord your God is he who goes over before you as a consuming fire. He'll destroy them and bring them down before you, and you shall drive them out and destroy them quickly, as the Lord has said to you. Do not think in your heart after the Lord your God has cast them out before you, saying, Because of my righteousness the Lord has brought me to possess the land, but it is because of the wickedness of these nations that the Lord is driving them out before you. It's not because of your righteousness or the uprightness of your heart that you go in to possess the land, but because of the wickedness of these nations that the Lord your God drives them out before you, and that he may fulfill the word which the Lord swore to your fathers, Abraham, to Isaac, and Jacob. Therefore, understand that the Lord your God is not giving you a good land to possess because of your righteousness, for you are a stiff-necked people. Remember, do not forget how you provoked the Lord your God in the wrath of the wilderness from that day until from that day uh, that you departed from the land of Egypt until you came to this place. You have been rebellious against the Lord. Also in Horeb, you provoked the Lord to wrath so that the Lord was angry enough with you to have destroyed you. When I went up the mountain to receive the tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant, which the Lord God had made you, I have stayed on the mountain 40 days and 40 nights. I neither ate bread nor drank water. Then the Lord delivered me to two tablets of stone written by the finger of God, and on them were all the words which the Lord had spoken to you on the mountain from the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass the end of the forty days and forty nights that the Lord gave me the two tablets of stone, the tablets of the covenant. And then the Lord said to me, Arise, go down from here, for your people whom you brought out of Egypt have acted corruptly, and they have quickly turned aside from the way which I commanded them. They have made themselves a molded image. Furthermore, the Lord spoke to me and said, saying, I have seen this people, and indeed they are stiff-necked people. Let me alone that I may destroy them and blot out their name from under heaven, and I will make 
out of you, of you a great nation mightier and greater than I. So I turned and I came from the mountain and the mountain burned with fire and the two tablets of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked and behold, you had sinned against the Lord your God and made for yourselves a molded calf. You turned aside so quickly from the way which the Lord has commanded you. Then I took the two tablets and threw them out of my hand, two hands and broke them before your eyes. And I fell down before the Lord as at the first forty days and forty nights. I neither ate bread nor drank water because of all your sin, which you committed in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. For I was afraid of the anger and hot displeasure with which God with the Lord was angry with you to destroy you. But the Lord listened to me at that time also. And the Lord was very angry with Aaron and would have destroyed him. So I prayed for Aaron also at the same time. Then I took your sin, the calf which you had made, and burned it with fire and crushed it and ground it in very small until uh, it was fine as dust. And I threw it into the dust into the brook that descended from the mountains. Also Ter Teborah and Massa and Kibroth, uh, Hadaba. Uh, you provoked to the Lord to wrath. Likewise, when the Lord sent you to from Kadesh Barnea, saying, Go up and dispossess the land which I have given you, then you rebelled against the commandment of the Lord your God, and you did not believe him nor obey his voice. You have been rebellious against the Lord from the day that I knew you. Thus I prostrated myself before the Lord forty days and forty nights. I kept prostrating myself because the Lord had said he would destroy you. Therefore, I prayed to the Lord and said, O Lord God, do not destroy your people, your inheritance, whom you have redeemed through your greatness, whom you've brought out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember your servants Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and do not look at the stubbornness of your people or on which the, the wickedness of their sin, lest the land from which you brought us should say, because the Lord was not able to bring the land to the land which he had promised them and because he hated them. He has brought them out to kill them into the wilderness. Yet they are your people and your inheritance whom you brought out by your, your mighty hand and, out, and by your outstretched arm. Appreciate you so much tuning in to today's Bible reading. Hope you'll join us again tomorrow as we continue to read the Word of God. Till then, have a blessed day.